Welcome back. This is the big break. We have been looking at the first two contestants in our competition, the prize on offer. Let me remind you, quarter of a million dirhams worth of advertising on the Arabian Radio Network and free office, free business setup at Dubai Airport Free Zone. Let's talk, first of all, about our first competitor this evening. He was in about uh, half an hour ago, 20 minutes ago, Charles Al Mamory of Pax Kent International with his idea for furniture. Edward Roderick is uh, one of our judges this evening of Investors Mina. Edward, what did you make of Charles and his pitch? I, I really just wasn't quite sure what it was that we were getting pitched on. I mean, we were getting wooden furniture with probably an RFID chip into it. I couldn't see what made it particularly unique. I couldn't really see how the RFID chip, uh, chip was going to be used to enhance the whole thing. Wasn't clear how the marketing strategy was going to play into it, or for that matter, where the um, where the strategy was to drive it forward, and that wasn't really articulated in terms of you know, the markets that were going to be serviced or the geographies that were going to be serviced as well. And uh, the returns, we were told it was an 18% return. I didn't know whether that was uh, rate of sales growth, uh, profit level, or return on invested capital. So just a bit unclear about directionally how it was all going to play out. And compare that with the second company we had, which was Shimu's company, Deviani Dial, the activewear. Well, again, I think you it's a bit... Uh, apples and pears here the second company is really brand brand new and therefore has very limited sales certainly very little revenue and profitability so that's unclear at this stage had to change direction after its very first foray into the marketplace the people seem to me to have competence and capability and a good background in the sector that they're doing and i thought that there was a a, a better articulation of the uniqueness of the pro- product. I'm not clear it's as unique as, they, as Deviani thinks it was, but I think that there was a good articulation of who was going to use the product and why and how it might be interesting to people in the marketplace. Well, let's have a look at some of the SMSs we've had in. Uh, broadly speaking, I've got to say our listeners seem to prefer She Moves Company to Pax uh, Kent. First of all, some of the, um, the, the comments about, uh, about Charles Almamory's pitch for Pax Kent. Um, Ed writes in, awful delivery as wooden as his furniture. Uh, someone else wrote in, um, what a nonsense. Uh, I'm afraid they weren't p- they're picking some of the nicer ones, if I'm honest. Um, you know, and yeah, some of those I can't read. Um, uh, Aligi says, worst sales pitch I've ever heard. Um, someone else writes in, this is reflective, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm not picking the, the bad ones here. Um, uh, Ian writes in, sorry guys, I listened to Charles. I have no idea what his furniture or his underwater robot do. Uh, this is not clear uh, at all. So those are some of the comments we had in for uh, Pax Kent International and Charles Almamory. For uh, Deviani Dayal at Shimu's company importing active wear, it's slightly more positive. Uh, someone says, Deviani clear in her idea of business and is passionate. Being passionate is the essence of business. Uh, Saji writes in, Deviani's business plan is more sensible. Uh, someone else writes in, though, she moves is too new, no track record, hazy about her figures, and no unique selling point. Here today, gone tomorrow. Uh, that's from uh, Liz. So, mixed reviews for she moves and Deviani, but pretty much overwhelmingly uh, negative comments for uh, Charles and his, his, his furniture at Pax Kent. Edward. Yeah, I think that uh, that's a fair reflection. I think of the of the relative strengths of the two uh, people that were in here. It was reflected in the comments from the audience out there. I think it's difficult to make a judgment on the revenue and profitability of Davayani because really at this stage they don't have any. Um, as I said, change in strategy. People seem competent, and I think uh, the other side of the house, all of those things about sales and marketing and people and the and the business strategy and how it was going to be implemented just didn't really come across strong, strongly enough from Charles to convince us. A, an interesting comment coming in here about uh, She Moves and it's something you mentioned. She Moves is a trading business model with very low entry barrier. Um, m- many Me Too competitors will spring up not clear about the competitive advantage. One of my concerns was it's just essentially importing stuff from outside. Now if Deviani w- was coming up with some unique 
material that was i don't know created for desert conditions and the humidity we have here and was working on on a fabric that was ideally suited to these conditions then i think okay you've got something truly unique that may work across the gulf and perhaps in other desert conditions and you that would have got excited then but importing stuff from america it, it it's great i'm not knocking her it, it it's good business you know people port, import bmws and mercedes and it's still a business but just importing goods yeah. I, I find a little shallow I, I get, yeah i agree with that but I also wasn't terribly convinced by the idea that somebody did a sort of 90 minute workout and then went straight to have a coffee in the mall without having a shower and whatever and that, <laughs> and that, the, and that the, uh, the, the flow through ability of the sweat coming out of the clothes would necessarily be attractive to everybody <laughs> around them really so. Tim Elliott Do you know one of the things that concerned me slightly was uh, what Deviani said about active wear uh, and the fact that there was no direct competitor I just feel that there are, there are many there are lots and lots of competitors uh, in the active wear. I mean, most to me, most clothing makers would have some form of active wear, whether it's some uh, unusual space age material or not. I don't know. That was the one thing that uh, stood out for me. I, I'm thinking of crossover brands like um, Timberland, is it, is it, Columbia, maybe I mean, Nike and, and mm. Reebok, perhaps are sportswear brands but yeah crossover I'm, I'm thinking uh, Timberland and Columbia which are active here and I think it's it's Sun and Sand I think it represents them which is one of the biggest it is actually, yeah. biggest yeah. Um, distributors of, of this type of clothing a mm -hmm. very strong competitor um, you've got to have a really good product if you're going to go up against those boys okay she's in the address which is which is good the dress hotels are nice and and to be in exhale studios is good but yeah well the one thing that's clear is that the moment that any new product comes onto the market and the big boys see that it succeeds and it's going to sell then they're in they're in replacement and destruction mode that they're going to find their own products to compete against it and try and take the competitors out but the point really is isn't it do we believe in deviani enough is she the person that can lead this forward does she have the taste does she understand has she got the pulse really of the market here because one of the things she was saying was look i'm tailoring this with the the not too plunging v-neck lines uh culturally for this region i think you come back to the measurements that we always use in our shows when we have them the three elements again do you like the concept do you believe in the people and then the money flows thereafter and uh, and i think what we're judging here is did somebody articulate what their product or services do well and were they able to convince us of their individual competency and that's a decision we make well we are going to be giving our scores for both of these companies in just one minute's time stay with us for that we're going to get deviani and charles back in the studio and we'll find out who goes through to the next round and who is eliminated Welcome back. This is the big break tonight. One company will go through to the next round and have the opportunity to compete for 250,000 dirhams worth of advertising on Arabian Radio Network and free office and business setup in Dubai Airport Free Zone. One company, though, will be going home empty-handed. We'll get the scores in just a couple of moments' time and find out who wins and who goes. First of all, though, both of our contestants, I'm going to ask you, give you 20 seconds to react to some of the comments and criticisms that we heard just now. First of all, Charles Alnamory of Pax Kent International. Yeah, well, thank you. Well, I thought the comments were, were very interesting and things that we've got to take on board and listen to. That's listen to. That's a reality. I feel that we didn't come over clear enough and we were not um, um, explicit enough in what we want to achieve. Charles, thank but you very much indeed. Deviani? Hey, guys. Um, the main thing I wanted to tell you about that you mentioned was that our products aren't unique and maybe I didn't explain it right. Um, some of our products use something called Blue Tech technology and Suplex. Those are very new fabrics. They're very unique. Nobody else has them here. Deviani, thank you very much indeed. So with that, we get now to the scores. We've been scoring our contestants in five categories. They are a unique offering, sales and marketing, people, business plan, and revenue stroke profit. Tim has been collating the scores. Tell us, Tim, who wins, who goes through, and who goes home. Charles, 37 points you finished the day with today. Deviani, 54. Oh, okay. <laughs> Deviani, congratulations. Deviani, Dayal, Thank and you. your company, She Moves, go through to the, to the next round. Charles Almamory of Pax Kent International, many, many thanks indeed for joining us this evening. I've got to say, to get this far was quite an achievement. We had lots and lots of applications. Many people didn't even make it this far. So thank you very much indeed, both of you, for your time and for joining us this evening. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you very much.